playing off the last video where we asked the question, is the Blitzwing mold really as bad as we remember? We ask ourselves, is this figure really as good as we remember? Uh, well, yes. Generations World is still as good as we remember, and I absolutely love this thing. Whirl here is brilliant, and most people who own this will agree with that most. It does have a couple of problems, a few pain points, but for the most part it's a really solid figure and it's still quite popular surprisingly. So let's get those pain points out of the way right now. The shoulders are on thin struts so just be careful when pushing them in, you don't want to snap them. The backpack gears, they just be careful not to twist the joints that they're on because they are also pretty thin and that could be a problem if you force things so just take your time. But the biggest problem is the knees. First of all, the hips are on backwards. Like the hollow bits usually go on the inside and the mushroom peg air holes go on the outside but for these they've been assembled wrong. It's weird. I've seen that on a lot of other people's figures too, so that's just interesting. But the knees themselves are a bit of an issue because they're thin struts that have a super stiff joint at the top. So when pushing them together, make sure you grab it from the shaft and the base of the leg when pushing the knee in. All that aside though, the figures, that's my only problems with it. Stickers can also be seen as a pain point for a lot of people. They are definitely a weird inclusion. It was him and Roadbuster and Springer that had, not Springer, him and Roadbuster that had stickers. But I guess they are cheaper than Tampographs or something, and uh, you get all the detail you'd want that just made it into stickers. So either way, he looks nice with or without them on, so you can choose to put them on if you want. I chose to put them on, and I think he looks great. And he also comes with quite a lot of accessories. You get a missile pod, another more different missile pod, and this thing. Oh, and a minigun. You can arm him up with all of these he's got three milliliter clips on him so you can do all that or you can just do what i do and chuck them in a drawer he looks epic i love how this looks overall not a hundred percent the idw design but it is still pretty epic he has the shockwave face and some really sick light piping and you can close the light piping with the antenna which i think is just it's useless but it is cool i'm really really happy with the look of this figure and the feel too is top notch for the most part like i said keep an eye on those pain points i mentioned before but it does look and feel great especially when compared to stuff from today it feels sturdy like it it's never gonna last like hundreds of years but it will still last you which is really nice articulation is not bad it's great until you get to the legs which i wish had some more range in the knee especially the upper knee but it still works and you can rotate the knees around if you don't like the chicken leg look and it still works and it actually looks pretty decent transformation is nice and cohesive you can pretty much tell where everything's gonna go after your first time transforming it it's not difficult it's really like nice and refreshing to have a voyager helicopter that doesn't that's not fiddly i mean that's not common a lot of the times but the last big helicopter transformer i had was leader class blackout and that thing was really fiddly chopper mode is interesting it's definitely cool but it's also weird it's it's a wide boy but i still like how it looks cockpit does open given some force and the propellers spin quite nicely however the top propellers if you flick them hard enough they will just detach themselves and like fold up you can clip the stuff on the same places as you would in robot mode and um arm this guy up or do what i do and just chuck the pieces in a drawer he looks great next to other chopper figures but this this may be heresy but i like the look of the cyberverse one step changer chopper a little bit more than this one <laughs> it's not to say that this one's bad i just like the look of that one a little bit more he looks great next to other chopper figures but this may be heresy but i like the look of the cyberverse chopper a little bit more than this one i don't know it just does it just does it for me a little bit more than this chopper not to say that this one's bad but the cyberverse one to me just looks cooler i just wish we had like a deluxe version of it and i don't think we ever will get one unfortunately but it is really nice but overall yes buy one of these if you can find it for a decent price 
it goes for ridiculous prices on eBay sometimes, so you gotta be careful. I got this guy at tftoys.ca, not sponsored, and they were selling it for retail. So I got really lucky on that, but it's super good. And since it's our only mainline whirl, it has nothing to compare to other than the Cyberverse one step and those two movie repaints, the Human Alliance uh, Scout class and the two pack with that, that one comic book character whose name I forget. But I do really like this and I would recommend you f pick one up if you can find it for a decent price for sure, especially if you're a fan of the IDW designs. This thing is awesome. Anyways, that's been my look at Generations World. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, link below. Check out the Discord and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.